So this is a little tutorial about the new uh, workflow that we seem to have to do to um, create scenery and custom models in the new SDK 0.12.0. So th here's a model that I created for Shoreham Airport, it's the fire station. So my project is in another drive that I always keep in FS2020 projects. These are just copies just in case um, something goes wrong there's the, there's the immediate next copy. But this is the project so nothing changes I've left it in my organized folder. So with this model I just select all export DTLF go to my model lib folder of the Shoring project I've already I've already created one EGKA e fire station highlight it because I've already created a basic model it's already got its own GUID so I don't need to overwrite it and that's exported into the model lib directory so previously to the 14th of uh, April 2021 all you had to do now was go into the airport, the default airport EGKA go to developer camera tools project editor open project highlight it and build package all seems normal but this is a different warning I've never seen before it's not currently mounted in the virtual file system so I'm not sure seems to be a lot of errors I'm going to build it again ok zero errors so previous to the 14th all we would do is navigate to my scene and load in editor then I would uh, load this asset group and uh, zoom down to where the uh, the building should be I see the in the scenery all the objects have have appeared all the uh, lots of components have loaded like the uh, apron textures some of the default the cars supplied in the SDK they have a, they have turned up The flag is also a default flag that I found in the SDK, but there's no custom models. The main building isn't there, and the fire station is not there. So if I look at look at the scenery, there's loads of unknown assets, which is that was a big problem. And if I look in the scenery objects and I try and search there's nothing there's none of my custom models have appeared so this is not how you do it now so 
So if I close down the project and pause OBS, I'll be back in a minute. <coughs> so I've shut down Flight Simulator and now what I have to do is go to the project, go to packages. Now I have to copy this into my community directory. Just like that. Now I have to restart Flight Simulator. So I'm in the uh, simulator, going to look in the world map. Now I'm going to zoom down to Shoreham, which is completely, seems completely wrong because the edited airport, the edited airport is there and this was completely the wrong way to do it before. So with my star edited airport I'm gonna spawn there. So I'm at the edited airport this is uh, all the components of what I have made apart from the windsock and the navigation frequencies so the runway the pappy lights and the models are all what I, I have created. So we're going to go into developer camera, tools, project editor, open, open the, uh, the project XML, highlight it, inspector, build package. And once the package is built, there's no errors, any major errors, um, close the console and close the project. And exit flight simulator. So I've restarted the uh, simulator for a second time. The uh, package with the new updated uh, model is in the community folder. So whenever you um, update any model, <coughs> whenever you update any model or add a new model, that package uh, must be in the community folder. So go to Tools, Project Editor open so instead of building the package on the second rotation you have to just load my scene in the editor don't build the package I forgot to go into developer camera load this asset group so if I go over to the if I go over to the updated model There is the model. It's the wrong way around. So there's the uh, <coughs> the model. If I look into the scenery the scenery there's no more unknown 
models. I noticed in the Gatwick scenery that I do, there were a few unknown models for some reason, where well, that could be an SDK change. Um, some of the assets that they give for free, sometimes they change or get deleted. But in <coughs> in this scenery, uh, there's nothing unknown by the look of it. So if I look in the, the objects, I can see all my models are now displayed. taxiway signs are all there so somebody just commented in the Microsoft forum about this this situation well the the problem is gonna be if I want to do like a real-time edit of this model maybe move the C over slightly um, Yeah, I could uh, I could change the position of this to over here then I could export and you would see an immediate um, an immediate change the C would move over <clears throat> uh, you can't you can't do a real-time um, view if you're adding an extra texture um, but you can see a color change if you're just using standard st standard materials and you're using the color the albedo color on the selector but if you change the texture maps um, you won't see the new texture you have to close down and restart reload the project so this system is going to be a pain for a lot of people who like to do real-time editing I'm not sure if this is a planned change or a mistake so we will see hopefully they will revert it back to the um, to the older system but everything's uh, working using this workflow thankfully uh, that's it for now so just one more thing once you've made any changes you wanted to the model is uh, in you want to do a few more changes you you do as normal you save the scenery and you build the package and in your project In your project the package should be updated it will be updated uh, this is the new package which is in your project directory it's not the community folder that you've put into the community folder that's not the one that's not the package that I I would need to copy because the package here in the uh, in your project folder that should be updated so what you would do then is you would close down flight simulator 2020 and copy your package in your project folder into the community folder then you can uh, take a look to confirm that it's all been built correctly so this can be deleted after you close down FS 2020 and you would use the package in your project folder weird but that's the way it is <coughs>